Hi, this is Christina, or you can call me Chris if you prefer. This is my first video of 2020, and for this year, I'll be making one video a week. Well, not necessarily one video a week, it could be more than one video a week that I release once a week, but the final goal for me is to have at least 52 videos produced for this channel by the end of the year. These won't be necessarily tutorials or reviews, like many of the other channels that I like to follow, but instead, these will be videos showing my process, creating different pieces, or maybe some practice. Uh, I think it would be cool uh, if people could see um, how I made the art that they receive, especially the house portraits. I love making these house portraits. So typically, I'll start with the sky. And the reason I start with the sky is because, to me, that's the least intimidating part of a painting. It's very hard, you know, when you see the blank paper there, and I think other people can say the same. You have the idea, but it tends to be so scary to put the color on it, because once the color is in there, it's staying. If you want to remove the color, especially watercolor, that's not going to happen. It's not going to work well, at least in my experience. And so the sky is the least intimidating part for me. And I usually start with that. And at this point, I already know the colors I'm going to use. I have swatched out the colors for the walls, for the side, for the, for the vegetation and for the sky too so here i'm done with the sky and i'm ready to move on to the walls and you might have noticed that this video has no music and there is a reason for that i made a commitment to not invest money on music for the first five videos if i make five videos consistently for the next five weeks I'll give to myself a subscription to some sort of a, you know music service I have found that the music that I really like and I would like to have in my videos are not free and I think it's worth you know it's worth for the uh, it's worth investing the money once you are actually doing this consistently so for now there might be quiet moments in this video, which I don't mind. I really don't mind quiet. Now here I'm starting to paint a concrete walkway to the front door. And I chose some greenish, not greenish, sorry, bluish, grayish color, which seemed to be closest to what was actually there. And then there's like this patch of concrete on the side where you can park a car. And I did it the same color. Then I'm moving, I'm going to move on to the windows. And there, from the outside, you can't really see inside. But it's kind of dark. And I like to start like at the little corner to give an, a sense of depth to the window. And this is just the first layer of color that I'm adding to the, to the windows. This house is a country house in Brazil. And that's where I, I hang out when I go to Brazil every once in a while. I get there with my family and we spend a lot of time there and it's a beautiful place it's in the country it's it's very beautiful there this is just the front of the house and eventually i'm going to make the back of the house too because the back is also very nice and um this house had been in my to-do list for at least two years i think 2017 Oh my gosh, that's like three years, almost three years now. 
2017, I had the idea of painting this portrait. And at that point, I was not making house portraits yet. I was just starting with watercolor. And I asked my mother-in-law to create this painting for me. And in the end, I said, you know, I, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it myself. And I started painting houses, but not this house. I painted different houses first. I don't know why. Because this house actually is the simplest of them all. It's like straight lines. There isn't much um, weird angles, nothing strange going on here. So I don't know. I, I just put this one last. So this year, 2019, I finally sat down to make to make this painting so at what point this is another day I forgot to record so there's like a bunch of steps here that you didn't see <laughs> I got too excited about finishing up and I forgot to hit the record button but this is another day I didn't see the lighting is different it's because it was sunny that day and the sun shines right into my onto my desk at this point I already added the grass and now I'm just like you know making the uh, the colors a little darker creating a little bit more contrast and adding shadows to the sides there to the wall to the floor and yeah and one thing that like this part that is coming up next that was something new to me this was the first time I did something like that and I think that might be why I was taking so long to create this painting it's because those little the effect of the, the little brick wall I had no idea how I was gonna make the walls like that the bricks how I'm gonna suggest bricks there but I found a way and I am using a very thin brush here to create this the individual bricks and I since then I have found a better way to do this and I now might be using a very small flat brush those bricks are gonna look a little more tidy yeah so practicing the bricks <laughs> that that's good I'm gonna need to do some more practicing on that and uh, yeah so this is something interesting happened here this door uh, the picture I had the door was completely open so you could only see dark in there but I figured you know I'm gonna make this door closed and in my memory that door was dark brown with lines like that but looking back in other pictures I have, it turns out that the door is completely different. It looks completely different from that. So one lesson here, you know, don't trust your memory. Look at the images. If you want to do it similar, uh, you know, if you want to do it exactly the same, you got to use a picture. Now here it's like getting towards the end and I am, you know, creating more contrast on the roof. I just added some more dark. I just darkened it up. Darkened it up some shadows too to create a little bit more depth. Yeah, this would be nice to have some music now, right? <laughs> All right, so now here, I think this might even be another day. This is where I add some of the bushes on the side of the house. And when I took the picture, the house did not have the grass yet. It did not have a lot of vegetation. So I'm just imagining what it would look like if it did have that little bush a little bigger now. Well, I'm going to be going back there pretty soon, so I can 
take a more you know a picture of what it actually looks like now and here is another thing too this uh, this little porch had a bunch of plants a bunch of uh, pots and plants there and I didn't want to make all of them <laughs> it was just too many so I just created some generic leaves there and some pots now comes an interesting part too this is uh, the house has some white lines on the big wall there and I wanted to recreate it I had a um, this very thick white paint that I had to dilute with water and I wasn't sure if that was gonna work well on the watercolor so I tested it and it looked okay so I'm using this tool I am not sure what it, this tool is called my dad gave it to me and it it's really good it makes like very straight lines very thin lines depending how you know how much you tighten that little wheel there and it works like a it works just like a fine liner see but I at this point I'm looking at the at the whites there and it's not really popping as I wanted it to but I, I continue I create the the lines anyway then I decided to try my uh, my calligraphy pen see if I could get you know more variation in the lines at this point I didn't really need the line to be skinny and the white was still not that great so I started with the gel pen the white jelly roll and still I I'm still not happy with how white the, how the white works over the the watercolor paper it just doesn't work well not these maybe I have to try gouache next time so now this is like my, my favorite part of creating these paintings is that I come back with the black black pen just you know outlining that makes it pop and I really like the effect I know some people say that this is kind of cheating because you know you should be able to create this much of depth just with the watercolor itself but I personally like the uh, the black on that Now we're getting to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more of my work, you can find me on Instagram at Chris Kober and also my website, chriscober.com. I hope to see you for video number two. Have a great week. Bye.